Hello, my name is Laura. I'm an artist and work under the name Shed on the Fell. I grew up in a small hamlet near Carlisle, Cumbria. I now live in Lancashire with my husband, two children and fox red Labrador. My parents are farmers and through my upbringing, I was surrounded by nature. I've always been creative and interested in art, rubbish at all the other subjects at school, but loved art. I did my foundation at Cumbria College of Art and wanted to continue in the art field but didn't know what art to specialise in. I should have studied fine art as drawing is my passion but being young and impressionable I was encouraged by tutors to to study a degree in jewellery and silversmithing in the jewellery quarter in Birmingham. After uni I didn't know what to do I didn't have the confidence, knowledge or money to become a full-time artist, so I shelved art for over a decade and worked in education, mental health and later on acquired brain injury. But art was always there and wheedled its way back into my head. When I was married and my children were little, I needed to do something for myself to find my own identity again and I concentrated on art. Luckily, my husband, who unlike me is super confident, encouraged me and helped me to make this become a reality. Nature has always interested me and this heavily influences my artwork. I did fashion drawing at university and the techniques gained from this uh, with layering collage still influences my work today. I sometimes wake up in the night and I must create something using a certain technique or I obsess about making something until I have a chance to do it. As a child, I was painfully shy. Age does make you grow more confident, but I'm still a bit of a recluse today. I'm more of an observer or a listener than a performer. As mentioned, I grew up on a farm and money was always tight. It was tough growing up in this environment and not as idealistic as some people may think. The countryside and nature influence my artwork enormously and I'm at my happiest when I'm looking out to out in an open field or listening to the birds. I'm working on the idea of solo exhibition at the moment and so I'm producing work for that. The biggest challenge of being an artist, I think, um, in my opinion, is art's really easy. That's the enjoyable part. It's the admin and promotion and stepping out of your comfort zone, which is a challenge to me. Making something that is sensitive and so personal to you that you then exhibit has always been a challenge for me, but believing in yourself is the key. So that's what I give um, as advice to my younger self. Believe in yourself. This is really hard to do and I still struggle with this today. It's healthy to question your work, however. If you have confidence and support from others, you can overcome that self-doubt. My husband is a musician and we share our studio space at the bottom of the garden together. So he's often playing his own music. Listening to live music while you create is pretty awesome. But if it's not about, I listen to podcasts as I find people fascinating and I'm a bit nosy. I've had some lovely reactions to my artwork where people have come to events to see me specifically. Um, Commissions or any sale really is wonderful as it shows people enjoy what I've created and they want to ultimately put it on the walls in their homes. I hope that people like my work and enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it. Thank you.